everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Flirty Friday. Yeah, I was setting up the camera and I kind of got my cleavage and I'm like, I don't think any of these girls want to see my cleavage. <laughs> so yeah, I moved the camera. So hopefully the camera is in a good angle right now. I'm going to tell you, this is my... Dubai. I'm pretty sure I'm saying the name of the store right. I don't know. It's linked down in the description below. It's a 70 by 70. It is my couple, my sexy couple that you've seen at the beginning of the video. Yeah. And that video got 100, no, 99, 9, 99, 9, 999 views. Like why couldn't just one more person watch it so I could get a thousand views? Too bad I didn't have as many subscribers. But hey, it's all good. It's all good. So, now, I got this pen and I unboxed it yesterday and I didn't really talk about it much. It is an acrylic pen that it cuts the parchment paper or the paper on top of the double-sided adhesive. I'm still learning how to use it because it kind of goes crooked like you can see here how I went so crooked. So I'm going to go. I figured out that if I go smaller squares, I tend to get things done faster. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That one went a little bit better. Still a little bit crooked, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. So I'm gonna fold it there. I'm going to use my pug. I'm gonna use my pug today. Instead of my butterfly, I'm gonna use my pug. There. My pug's holding it up. I might start with the T's and we will get going. But before I start everything, I posted that from now on, on Flirty Friday and every Friday after Flirty Friday, because I'm sure Flirty Friday ain't going to be here forever. And no, Lisa B, the next one is not going to be Fishy Friday. But that was a really good comment. And this is what I'm talking about. Funny comments like we'll make the shout outs so from thursday to wednesday next week the funniest comment i get will be shouted out in the next video and then i'm gonna post the whips again on the monday morning and whatever whips on people vote and whoever gets the most likes gets shouted out as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on every Friday. So this week we already got two people for it. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to get ready and then we're going to get into the shout outs. So here we go. It's shout out time. In the shout outs, the one for the Facebook group of the pictures, it was from Angie. Now I'm not going to say her last name because it is Facebook and I'm not going to reveal your full name unless you want it to be like the YouTube ones. Everybody sees it on the YouTubes in the comments. So that one, I will say your full name, but here on the Facebook one, I will not. So Angie posted this picture and it's from Diamond Art Club and it is 
darn it, I had it. The Winter Blue Lynx. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's very, very beautiful. And it's got, it got the most likes for this week's whips. So next week's whips, get your whips on there and maybe you'll be shouted out in Friday's video. The next one goes to a comment. I got to, uh, I gotta look this one up. And it was the first one that caught my eye that made me laugh. So there was a few good ones that week, but this one was the first one that made me laugh. And I'm like, oh, it's gotta be this one this week. Cause it made me laugh. And you know me. I like to laugh. So, where is that one? It's on this one, I think. Where are my comments? Oh, here they are. So, it comes from Christina Bates. I hope I said your name right. And she writes, No, you don't, Liz. LOL. I was about to pee myself. Bring Liz brings Flirty Friday to a new level. I'm sorry that was funny. Don't care who you are. So that one made me laugh. Because, okay, I thought it was funny, too, when I was talking about the washing machine. And I don't know if everybody got it, but I thought it was pretty funny. So, yeah. So, she made me laugh because she was the first one to sh to bring it up in the comments. And, yeah. So, she gets the second shout-out. So, Christina gets a shout-out for the comments of the week. And Angie gets the shout-outs for the whip of the week. So congratulations to both of you. You guys will be put into the jar for the end of the year draw for a gift card. And you never know, the gift card might be a good amount. Depends on how giving I am around after Christmas. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for the shout outs this week. I'll probably buy, buy it before Christmas, don't worry. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. So next week, make sure you guys comment and do the whips and then maybe your name will be shouted out in a video. Now, another thing is, if you have a channel, please put in that you have a channel because then I'll shout out your channel. I'm pretty sure either one of them do not have a channel, but I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments below and I will correct myself in the following video and apologize. So there you have it. So on to other topics. I just had a vape. I had a little break. You know me. I have to have breaks and I'm like talking to you right now and there's vape coming out of my mouth. Yeah, one of those days. So don't worry guys, if you're in my live on Wednesday for Bling Bling Wednesday, I had a special guest. His name is Billy's Diamond Painting and more. If you guys want to check out a new creator, go check him out. He does a lot of unboxings and I really like his channel. And if I like it, I'm pretty sure you guys will like it too. So go check him out. I'll leave his description down below for any of you guys to go check him out. And also, if you like, please join my Facebook group and then you can play along with the whips and put your poster whips there, not play along. You know what I mean. I just finished having supper. I made hamburgers for supper and we had some Caesar salad and I had to go grocery shopping. Well, what I was getting on about is I was vaping this really old juice. 
on my live on Tuesday and I'm like if I die then you guys know why it was this vape juice well don't fret I went and bought some juice today I was gonna go after the live but then I got lazy and I didn't go because I knew I had to do all my running around today because I had to go grocery shopping and everything so I didn't really want to go to the grocery stores. I didn't want to go out and about more than once. Because you know with COVID-19, I try to limit myself as much as I can in public. Because I don't want to get it. If I get it, then uh, it not only affects me, but it affects the whole plant that I work at. So it's very important that... I watch and be careful of what I do and it kind of like can I say sucks on the channel it kind of sucks that I have to be like this but I do so I went out today and I got my vape juice and I went to the grocery store and I bought us groceries because we were long due uh, yesterday's supper. I made supper and I made chicken and then I was going to make mashed potatoes and then I realized I didn't have any milk or bread. I mean milk or bread. Milk or butter. And I'm like, oh great. So I guess we're just having boiled potatoes because I hadn't had gone to buy it. But don't, I went out and bought it all today because I just didn't want to go to the store twice. And plus, the kids didn't mind. Like, I'm saying kids, but Tyler and Alyssa didn't mind. So Alyssa had a meltdown at the end of the live about boys. Since it's Flirty Friday, let's talk about teenage love. <sighs> I never had this problem with Sarah. Sarah is my oldest. She's 28 years old. She's the one that's the mother of Luna. I never had boy problems with her as a teenager because she always had the same boyfriend. She maybe had two boyfriends in all of high school. And the one that her last boyfriend of 10 years has been the one that she had Luna with. And so I apologize for all the dinging. But people are messaging me because it's evening and people like to talk to me. I support it. No, not really. <laughs> but I, I just put that out there to say that. But I am not really. Not at all. So I never had this problem with Alyssa as a teen. No, a lot, not Alyssa. Sarah. So you know, I can't even get a kiss straight with Sarah and with Alyssa, it's different. And I'm like, I don't know what to say or do because I really don't really know. Like, trust me, I'm not the best person for love advice because <laughs> look at my track record. I've had so many breakups in my lifetime some that I broke up and but the majority was they break up with me or they cheat on me and yeah so I'm not the greatest at giving advice or love advice to anybody I'll be there and I will listen to your problems but I'm not as really good to give advice about the problems because like I said I this is not, I'm not good at that department. I can't, like, when I was dating or in a breakup, I always get the line. Well, Liz, you know, you're a really nice person, but, but there's always a but. You know, if I'm such a nice person, then why are you breaking up with me? Or if I'm such a nice person, why can't we be together, but yet you still call me up whenever you think you can get 
a booty call. You know what I mean? Like, men are so... They're a different species. I really don't understand them sometimes. And I try my best. I try to... And then sometimes I wonder, am I better off being single? Or, you know, but being single gets lonely sometimes. All alone, you know. And, yeah, I don't know. I just feel sometimes that why... Why me? But I don't want to get all depressed and gloomy about it, but teenage love, like I, when I was a teenager, I didn't date. I never dated through high school. All the guys in my high school were mean or they weren't interested in me then. Or I was too scared to tell them that I was even interested in them. Because the one guy I was so in love with, oh my gosh, I'll tell you the story. I think I've told the story before about this guy that he was, he was on student council. And he was very popular. Because back in when I went to school, I don't know what it's like now, but back when I went to school or the school that I went to. If you're on student council, you were the in crowd. You were the popular ones. Because we didn't really have a football team until the last year. So if you were on student council, you were the popular crew. So this guy that I had a major crush on was on student council. And I'm like, there's no way in heck he would even know I exist on the face of the earth. And um, that year that he was on student council, I think it was my last year of high school to tell you the truth. And uh, my locker was in the basement because the student council room was in the basement. And my locker was in the basement right across the hall from the student council room. So the student council people would always go there in between classes, right? And, or uh, during lunch. And my locker was right across the way. Well, my friend Jenny, God rest her soul, because she passed away with cancer in 2017. She shared my locker with me. So it was me and her in this one locker. And she was always messy. Oh, she just drove me nuts. She would be the most messiest locker partner ever. But anyways, we shared a locker together there. And then they had a nickname for him. They would call him, my, it was a stud muffin. So when he'd come by <laughs> walking, everybody would be like, Liz, there's, there's your Mr. Stud Muffin. And I'd be like, turn beet red. Like if I'm not already red enough, because my cheeks are always red. And I just wanted to dive into my locker and hide. And then he would always give me the cutest little smile. Oh my God, he was so cute. Oh, he was so cute. He was dreamy. And then I actually danced with him. I got brave enough. The only one dance that I ever was allowed to go to in high school. And, uh, I asked him to dance and he said yes. And he danced with me to a slow song and he was talking or whatever. He was very, very friendly. And then when I talked to him years later and told him that I had a crush on him, he told me he was probably drunk at that <laughs> dance. And I'm thinking, oh, that's probably why he said yes then to me asking him to dance because he was drunk. Oh, I don't know. But he's married now. I don't know if he has kids, but when I did talk to him, he said he was married, bald, and fat now. So I don't know, cause I haven't seen him in a super long time. But I really, really thought he was, well good, the fridge stopped. You know that darn fridge. I gotta move it. 
I gotta move it into maybe the dining room. Cause that fridge drives me absolutely bonkers. But yeah, I, I so liked him. He was so dreamy and he was, he played hockey. And then when we finally did get a football team, he was on the football team, but our football team sucked. We like lost, but it was our first year of actually having a football team. So, you know, we can't be perfect the first year, I guess. But yeah, I so, 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 I think, I've, I think our hockey team did well. We were good at hockey. We just weren't good at football. And I'm pretty sure Alyssa's school has a football team. But she goes to school. See, I went to school in London, Ontario, which is about 30 minutes away from my town. So I would bus every day because I went to a Catholic high school. And back then there was no Catholic high school in Strathroy. So then Alyssa, well, my kids all went to the Catholic high school in Strathroy because by this time, when by the time I had children, there was a school here in town. So Alyssa goes to the school here. It's called HCC and she wears a uniform every day. And so did my other kids. Tyler never finished it. But Sarah did. Sarah went off to college. She went to Fanshawe College in London. And she now is an early childhood education worker. So she works in daycares. She works in a daycare at a school. So she does the more, she does the before and after school program. But Right now she's on maternity leave with Luna and I don't know what she's going to do when it comes time to go back to work. I don't know if she's thought that far ahead. So yeah, she is on maternity leave until March, I think. By then, who knows if we'll be all closed down again for COVID. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, great. My neighbor just pulled in and is playing loud music. Still don't know whose boat that is outside. But yeah, so that was my flirty, my flirtiness. I'm not really one to flirt too much. Maybe I can flirt a little bit, but sometimes I feel like I don't want to flirt because you don't know what their reaction's going to be because maybe they don't feel the same way. So I kind of usually let the person flirt with me first. And then I know, oh, okay, that person's interested. Oh, GG, stop. The only one I flirt with is my Gigi. Hey, Gigi. No, I don't do kinky things with my dog. Get your minds out of the gutter. Oh, where did I do with my... What did I do with my wax? I guess I'm going to use this one. Not your mama's mud. There it was. Not your mama's mud. I'm starting to really hate these tips. I ordered some new tips and I'm hoping it holds my wax better. Cause you know me, I'm, I'm a hard, I'm a hard, I'm a hard uh, presser. Oh, shut up computer. The computer's getting on my nerves. It's like it wasn't making noise all day. And now it's deciding to make noise. Yeah, so. I think I fell asleep in Tia's live last night. I'm pretty sure I didn't stay to the end. <laughs> I 
I tried, but I'm pretty sure I closed my eyes for a few seconds. And you know what happens when I do that. I hope they weren't talking to me and I'm like snoring away. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. I'm pretty 100% sure that I fell asleep. Because I don't remember how it ended. So that's why I think I fell asleep. The story of my life. I can't stay up to save my life. It doesn't help that, you know, I start working at 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. It's a long day. It's a long day in the cold, in the frozen vegetable plant. Sometimes, like, people's like, oh, you're lucky you work in a cold place in the summer, but you know what? When you go outside and you go back in, you get, um, you get really bad heat stroke because you go, your body is in shock from going from hot to cold. It's not very good. I get sick all the time from that, especially on the really hot, hot days. I feel it. But it is what it is, I guess. I do feel it though. I don't know how long this whip and chat's gonna be because I don't really have much to say. I already told my story. I kind of like talked all around in circles. I hope you guys got it. You know me. You know me. I talk and talk and talk. Crazy talk. I used to like this guy too in high school. Let's go back to high school. He was mean though. I don't know what I ever saw in him. And now I look at him now. He's on my Facebook. Like I found him and I added him to Facebook. And he had, I asked him to be my friend and he actually accepted. I'm surprised. But he has a girlfriend now. Whether or not he ever got married, I have no idea. And he's still on about that darn Toronto Maple Leafs. All through high school, it was the same stuff too. And he's still on about, like, he's a major Leaf fan. Like, crazy Leaf fan he is. He was in high school, too. But I don't know if he ever got married or if he's just... It's not like, I didn't really creep his Facebook page, so I don't really know what he's been up to. Nor do I really care because he was not very nice in high school but then he writes in my yearbook oh whenever you're in london let's go for a ride and i'm like thinking because this was after i stopped paying attention to him and i didn't know i liked him anymore that was the only guy that i ever told in high school that i liked and then my last year in high school i met my ex-husband but he never went to school with me. He went to a different school. And I met him through a mutual friend. My friend Irene was dating this boy and he knew my ex-husband. And then that's how I met my ex-husband. And yeah, the rest was history. I brought my ex-husband to my prom and then the cute guy that I really like was at the prom but he went solo and then he was dancing with a girl and then I look at him he always smiled at me so nice like maybe I should have maybe I could have changed history back then I don't know I don't know if he would ever go for me or if he's just smiling to be polite. <laughs> I don't know. But oh, did I ever have a crush on him? And then when I talked to him after, he's like, because I talked to him on the phone. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to go check our yearbooks right now to see. Because he couldn't remember who I was. And I'm like, no, 
freaked out. Oh my gosh, if you saw my, I think I showed in one of my videos like a long, long time ago, my yearbook pictures, they are ridiculous. I had the big poofy permed hair and I used to have tease bangs. And you know, the 90s look. I always had a perm. Except for the last year, I think I didn't have a perm. But my hair was super long. Um, yeah, I think, no, but for my grad pictures, I did have permy hair. I don't know, I don't know then, I don't remember. But we used to have uniforms and I never liked tucking in my shirt. I thought it looked awful. And uh, one day I was walking in the hallway and our principal, her name was Mrs. Eyes. And she was like the Nazi of the uniforms, I swear. And she yells in the middle of the hallway, Elizabeth, tuck in your shirt. And I like, everybody stops and stares at me. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I thought I could just crawl in a hole. And she did that. Yeah. I hated, I hated tucking in my shirt. It wasn't the in thing back then to tuck in your shirt. They all didn't want to tuck in our shirts. We all used to get in trouble for not tucking in our shirts. Gigi, stop. I don't know what he's barking at. Barking at himself. Because there's nothing to bark about. So, today, I spend, this is, I'm filming this late because my friend decides to come over and sleep on my couch all day. And I'm like thinking to myself, oh, I really need to get this video out. I wanted to do another video for a surprise video for Sunday. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore, but that, cause I might not do it because it's late already, unless I feel up to it on Friday or Saturday after work. I don't know how I'll feel, but I don't think I got time today to do it. But uh, she pissed me off cause she was here all day and I could have done some filming and I could have done another unboxing for next week and have it already all done but nope she was here all day so that kind of ruined my filming for today that's why this filming is so late in the evening because she was here but I am gonna get off of here soon because I would like to catch a live tonight for a little bit and I'm going to work on the rest of the square. Now, I already pre-filmed the beginning to show you how far I've gotten other than the square. So the square is not in the video because I know I will never get this, this square done before the video uploads. So I did film what I did before this so you guys can see. And uh, I'm just going to continue on working this for this for another couple of hours. And then I got to go make my lunch and Tyler's lunch for work because I'm a good mom and I make his lunch. Why? I don't know, but I do. So I'm gonna go make our lunches so I don't have to like hurry up and do them first thing in the morning because I hate that. I hate having to make our lunch, make a sandwich at like five o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm going to make it tonight. I bought some buns so we can have our sandwiches on buns. I should have just got something that we could just heat up and then I didn't have to make sandwiches all weekend, but I didn't. I just bought bread to make sandwiches. And uh, the other day we had Appen's catering at work. It was barbecue chicken, baked beans, and uh, roasted potatoes, and Caesar salad. And what was the veggie? No, it was salad, 
Philippines. I'm missing something. Oh, rice and rice and then a bun. And then for dessert, it was vanilla bean cake or strawberry shortcake cake with fresh strawberries and blueberries. Oh, so good. Because every two weeks, my work thinks that they should feed us during COVID. I don't know. But they took away our dollar raise. Because we had... When COVID all happened, um, I don't know if this happened anywhere else in the world, but here in Canada, it did. So during the, during the pandemic, I, I had to pause because the dogs flipped out. During the pandemic... A lot of companies like I know Walmart and like retail stores were giving their employees two or two to four dollar raise and same with the health care workers but we got a dollar where I work but now since everything's back to normal and we're at stage three they took away our dollar and decided oh we'll just feed them every two weeks a luncheon so that's what we've been doing. Plus they're helping the community by buying, well this is screaming at, oh I don't know who, buying food from the local restaurants in town that are hurting during COVID. So it helped them out too. So yeah, we've had luncheons. Usually they were all like all individually boxed for us on the luncheons, but now, but it happens, they don't do that. They serve it to you. So they have people serving it, and I'm like, well, how the heck do you do this and still stay your distance from the person in front of you, but whatever. My work is very, 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 very strict about social distancing. You don't even understand. So yeah. So, needless to say, the food was really good. Athens food is always, always good. It's so good. But I don't get too much because, you know, if you eat too much, then you don't want to work for the rest of the day. And I never want to do that because you don't want to fill up and then be like, oh, I'm so stuffed I can't work. That's the worst when that happens. That's why I got dark meat instead of the white because the white is usually a big chunk of the breast and the wing and that's way too much food. So yeah, I'm gonna grab six. I've talked a lot, I think. I really don't know what more to say for this week. Flirty Friday was not very flirty, but that's okay. I don't really have a story this week. I have lots of stories about... See, I like to talk about my past, my future. I don't really like to say too much because, like, the present, not the future, but the present because I don't really like to get into my personal life, but honestly, really, there is no personal life, but you know what I'm saying? It just, it is what it is. And I'm okay with it right now. I am happy doing my YouTube channel and diamond painting and, you know, being Liz. Being the best that I can be. Trying to be the best that I can be. I th I honestly just want to be a good person. And help whoever I can. That's one thing that, you know, sometimes is my flaw. I'm too nice. And people take advantage of it. But... And the same fact, I don't, I can't see myself being other, anything other than being nice. Like, I don't know. 
I have respect for everybody. Let's just put it that way. And whether you are my worst enemy or not, you know what I mean? I like everybody. Except the girl that stole my boyfriend. I think I told that story a few weeks ago. My friend from high school, well, public school, stole my boyfriend. Then had the nerve to call me a bad word. Uh, who stole who first? I can't help it if he came back. <laughs> But I was stupid enough to take him back. That's my problem. Ah! I always fall for that too. Lizzie always takes them back. Like a crazy girl. That's my downfall too. That is my downfall. But anyway... Enough of boring you with my non-existent love life. I still think I should make a profile on a dating site, but I still haven't done it. So what, what am I waiting for? I have no idea. I'm just so busy, just so busy, busy <laughs> that I can't. But anyways, guys, I think I'm done for today. And I'm going to catch somebody's live because I'm sure somebody's on soon. And I will talk to you guys all on Monday for Mystery Diamond Painting Monday. Or maybe you'll get a surprise on Sunday. I don't know yet because it's so late in the day. And you know what? All this time I never even turned on my light. Oh boy. Does it make a difference? Let's see. Yeah, if it would turn on. Come on. Come on, turn on. I don't, still don't know how to work this thing. I don't get it. Nothing's turning on. It'll come on. Maybe. What the heck? I broke my light. This happened before. We're not getting off until I figure this light out. What the heck is going on, guys? Why isn't it turning on? I don't know. can't tell me this ring light already broke. Come on, turn on. What the heck? That's on. I wish I knew how to work this thing for real. Like, what does this mean? Is it this button? No. Why does the minus button light up? Plus. Power off. Power on. See? Nothing's happening. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on here. No. Nope. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> With that said, take care everyone. Till next time. Bye.
Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.